Hello everyone, this is Musichisto. I would like to continue with our application we installed last time in our previous video that was about mount point services. Now today we are going to learn how to use mount point services to add users on the server. When you go back to our server manager, now mount point services have been added. If you don't use mount point, if I don't do if you don't use mount point server manager, you can use and click on your mount point server from the start menu scroll down your mount point service that we are added we have mount point dashboard you have mount point log controller co log co collector then mount point manager mount point manager in this case it's the, it's the application that will help us to add the users if you don't use mount point manager you can use the control panel so most of you people that you always use to add users to your own computers for this case we are dealing with a server i can either use this control panel and i go to users and i click on user accounts and i'll click on manage another account and i'll click on add user it will give me this option then i'll add in my details for example, I'll say why my username is Y password. You should always make sure that at least it has characters and numbers. If I do it's just a plain password, it will not accept. For example, if I thought I just say my my password is YYY and I say YYY again and I give a hint F when I click on ne next it will complain the password you entered does not meet policy requirements try that's longer or more complex now go back to my password it's why 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 but if at all i add another character at one even here when i add there at one at one and i click next it will accept my account this is for the case of using control panel and my ac account will be added but for a case of the mount point manager you go i'll close this go back to your start menu then when you go to point mount point manager you click on it it will open when it opens here still it helps you to add users on the server if you don't use the control panel with this recent operating system of server 2016 this feature was embedded in as it's opening now here this is how it looks like we have the home we have the station we have users we have virtual desktops if at all you're running a network on virtual desktops for our case we are interested in adding users this is the target of this video recently the account you added y it's already there but for a case of point manager you just come and click here add user when you click add user it will ask it will ask for the username that's the user account i'll say user k user k then full name i'll still st i'll still say user k then password still i told it should be a strong password how strong should it be it should contain at least a character and a number plus a letter and i'll say two then i'll say at one then i'll say two should be the same password then at one then i'll click next then here it comes if you want to make the user account this user account we have just added here to be an administrator then you choose this point if you want just to be a normal user then you choose standard user then if you want it to be a mount dash user implying if at all you click on this second option that mount point dash user it implies that this user can access the dashboard and he or she can do something like editing controlling which will be in our next video but right now I'll just consider the standard user now click next then I'll finish our username has been added K then 
to add these users to add these users on the user end those are thin clients for my case they will be in my next video thanks for watching this is Musiki's talk